I've never had a crowd chant my name. It's never been a thing. You know what? We, we, we can try that uh, this Saturday nope. when we go to Ping Pong Bing Bong. Just keep Kevin Ryder. Nope. Ke- all right. Fair <laughs> it enough. just seem weird. Okay. Sam Punk is here. Yeah! yeah that's well, why am I here? <laughs> Uh, last time he was here, he left this building with mm-hmm. us saying, someone pay him money. We were we were almost pleading with different companies saying he's a free agent. Everyone was sort of scurrying to figure out what he wants. But we wanted that so that we could get the 10% or however Correct. much, 15%. Correct, which, which he knew coming on the show 20%. he was liable whatever. for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and now, here he is, a, an employed man by Fox Television. Weird. <laughs> well, but, I mean, I'm not putting two and two together, but I'm no, just... No, well, okay. that's, it was one of those things that I couldn't talk about at the time because I'm very much somebody who won't speak about stuff until it happens. Yeah, yeah you don't want right. to jinx it. Uh, well, it's not even jinxing it. It's just so many people out there talk about stuff. Oh, I got this going on, and I got this going on, and then it never happens, and then everyone's like, hey, what about that thing? Mm-hmm. Right. And I oh, think, it fell through. And I think because of that, there are so many people that are trying to guess what's going to happen with you. Yeah. And so now you are a co- you're a uh, analyst kind of a co-host who comes probably about once a month yeah. who shows up on Fox Sports WWE backstage which mm-hmm. is kind of like a recap show in the same way they do for NFL games mm-hmm. but they do it for WWE programming. And this you stopped watching wrestling for how long before this job? Um for I I didn't I didn't watch wrestling when I was wrestling. Right? <laughs> I mean, I you guys no listen, idea what my story you guys was. listen to morning radio. You know, that's true. Like, yeah, you don't you don't you don't bring work home with you. No. Yeah, uh, there's uh, there's so much content, and I'm finding that out now. Uh, but Fox does a super good job of sending me links with like everything. Here's a link. You can download it. You can watch it when you're on the plane. Yeah. You can you know. So mm-hmm. I can kind of uh, ingest it all at my own pace, and I really need to because nope. sometimes I just. I can't. I can't do it. It was a surprise to the group of people that were there that you walked in, right? Yeah. And then, how did they respond to you? Uh, I mean, nobody. They were happy. It seemed yeah, like they were no, happy. I, I didn't get hit in the nuts or anything. Like that. <laughs> that is that is new for you at your work. That, yeah. That's the line. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was good. Above no, and below. It was, I I when I when I was wrestling, I always hated lying to the boys, and they loved to do that. They loved to like hide people in in buses or, or SUVs and like not tell you what was going on. And there was a couple of instances where I was actually in the ring, and they were just like, "Hey, something's gonna happen." Um, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, and and I'm like, "Well, I'm out there. I have to react to it." And they're like, "No, no, no, don't do that." Well. Uh, huh? You're just gonna uh, stare. Yeah. That's the kind what, of what the am dumbest I, thing I've what ever am heard. I supposed to do? Yeah. So you know, I, I, I you were that in this case. I, I was, and I and I absolutely hated it, but I also understood, and it, it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't affecting anything really. It was yeah. at the end of the show. Everybody was happy. Everybody was surprised. I mean, Samoa Joe was there. I have yeah. history with him. He loved it. it I was, love uh, your chemistry with Renee Young. You guys great, seem like she? you are. Good friends. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I, I love I, that. I, 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 we are, and honestly, I think all wrestling fans, if they're stoked that I'm even back in this capacity doing this show, mm-hmm. they owe a debt of gratitude to her because really? I don't, I don't think it would have happened if it wasn't for her. Her hosting right? it. Yeah. Absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. I was talking to Fox for a very long time, even months before I saw you guys last time I was here in studio, and. They, you know, like immediately got like Renee on board. Renee was me and her just were having conversations every day. Yeah, like, hey, this is how we feel about it. She's like, no, no, I understand that. Here's how I feel about it. Here's my vision. Because she it. has a bit of ring fatigue as well. She was a commentator that didn't necessarily like her job. She was mm-hmm. doing the ringside commentating. Mm-hmm. Didn't I don't work think out. she. I don't think she would get mad if I said a hundred percent. She yeah. had <laughs> ring, <laughs> ring ring fatigue. And now this is a it's a, it's a loose show. Where she gets to still be in the wrestling space, nobody's in her ear yelling at her, uh, and we still are working on trying to make the show what we v- envision it to mm-hmm. be. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, I think she's a great voice for the whole space of wrestling, and she she gets it, and that's what she excels at, like hosting. Mm-hmm. Man, she's so good yeah. at it. Yeah, and she makes everyone around her better, which and, is something that a lot of hosts can't do. And yeah. it means you're well, really good at can't it. Can't or won't. And she can control True. me. You know, she can... She can... No, seriously, though. <laughs> well, I don't know. Sometimes, no, I, it, I mean, Please. if she wasn't there, sometimes I think, <laughs> I think man, this is this would really go south. She can she can control the room, you know? Yeah, yeah maybe really Booker T it. doesn't have quite as much restraint as uh, Renee Young gives you. I don't think they worry about Booker. I think yeah. they worry about me. Sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, what has it been like? I mean, I think that was the question everyone asked. What does CM Punk think of wrestling in 2020? Uh, it's wild. There's a lot of it. Mm-hmm. There is there a lot is of it. So More than much. Ever. There's so much but wrestling. The one thing I, because when we talked about it a little, when you were thinking about taking the job, the one thing I did think about is the stuff you were praised for, the kind of like indie wrestling that you brought up yeah. was special because it didn't happen a lot. And these moves that were like, oh, S, like, you know, like, oh, these are crazy moves happen every couple seconds now. It's a, yeah. it's almost like a Wild West circus. It's a lot. Um, so I'm like the, the old grizzled, you know, hitting coach that the new <laughs> baseball team hires. And I come in and I'm like, oh, man. These guys don't even know how to swing a bat. Like, what are they, <laughs> these damn kids. What are they doing? Like, you don't need batting gloves and the the the, the elbow guard and like, what? Come on, just let's get back to basics. Like, what are you what are y'all doing? But sure. I, you know, but I understand it's not. That's it's, I mean, it's not for me. It's, it's a different not, game. It's not my generation. It's a yeah. completely different game. Um, and there's there's good and there's bad. And you know? you're not getting antsy watching um, to get back in the ring. Oh no. <laughs> 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 You're gonna get antsy for other people. <laughs> I get I get uncomfortable because I'm just like, ah, oh, come on, just no, right. you know. Because Vegas yeah. odds having you entering the Royal Rumble is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I think anybody who bets money on professional wrestling <laughs> is an idiot. <laughs> just talk, what they just get. come, just come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you know, you have a true gambling problem. <laughs> That's <laughs> really weird. I feel bad for your children. I think. <laughs> I mean, speaking of gambling, I mean, the, the Super Bowl is coming up, yeah. and like the the prop bets for that is. Just Oh, we, we, say, we've done the national anthem before. I oh, think. yeah, yeah. We've the over under on the national anthem is where it starts for me, and yeah. it's but that's, you're just going, but that's something Slow down! that that somebody somebody knows exactly like how long that you're saying because they've been in rehearsal the or, whatever. or whatever. Yes, yeah. if somebody if somebody mm-hmm. was smart, they could they could maybe make money on that. Uh, you got to I guess our thing was when you were here and then a lot of fans who watch wrestling, it's like they know of the history between you and WWE and sort of the. Uh, ups and downs of it and now you don't work for wwe you work for fox yeah explain to me why that's uh that was something you wanted to do over going back to wwe uh well i mean fox approached me Mm -hmm. you know i I think over the summer um big wig fox executives like flew to milwaukee to when we had this clandestine meeting, you know, in like some hotel where I was just like they they wanted to talk to me. Were so. the lights off? Yeah, I was. It was too. It was in the morning. Okay. So yeah. Right. But like, I guess what I'm asking is, you could technically wrestle for other people if you wanted to. I I I I think if I was wrestling for AEW, I'm sure Fox would be like, "Well, it okay. was fun while it lasted." <laughs> yeah. I think that if that's would... where you're, if that's where you're well, going, no, they saying. would say, "Meet us in Milwaukee." I just yes, say, technically, <laughs> imagine Punk sitting, you know, shows up at an AEW event. I mean, it would be it would be mind blowing because you would assume he's not employed by WWE. Yeah, technically, yeah. I could do that. Yeah, huh. but I'm I'm pretty sure Fox would be like, "Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're calling it a day." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what a weird uh, business it is because you're on Tuesday nights and Sunday night is a big event and stuff changes daily. Daily. It's like, how do you even minute, minute keep up minute. with it? Yeah. You never know when somebody's past tweets are going to get uncovered and they're going to be like, well, we can't push, <laughs> can't push him push anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did see yesterday you praised a guy who I think is really impressive. This guy, Keith Lee. Yeah. Well, and I don't know anything uh, about Keith Lee outside of knowing that he was in PWG, he and was, that's yeah. like the that's the hot ind- independent promotion in in SoCal. Um, and having watched what he did at Survivor Series, my things like why why did he go back to NXT? He's three. What is he? Three hundred pounds. He's got. He's got to be three hundred pounds. Got to be every bit of three hundred pounds. He is so agile. He can do like uh, flips out of the ring. Those people scare me. He's yeah. three hundred pounds that can do flips. Athlete by all accounts. Wow. He's incredible. But yeah. that's a guy who stood out for me as well. Yeah, and and regarding that, sometimes I think just because you can doesn't mean you should. True. <laughs> you maybe need to pull back on that a little bit. Yes. Like you don't need to do it every match, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was a guy that like they gave this rub to it at Survivor Series, and I'm like. Just keep it going. He's very good. Yeah, keep it going. Uh, MMA question, as you still do commentating for yes. it, correct? What, February who, 1st, CFFC, yes. Parks Casino in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he's still able to do that with the Fox deal, which is awesome. Wow, yeah. all right. Uh, who does McGregor fight next? And does it matter? Who does he fight next, or who should he fight I mean, I guess both. both. That's, a, that's a very good question. Um, let's go back and say, were you surprised by the fight against Cerrone? 
man, I wasn't surprised. You weren't. Hmm. No, I, w- I, I wasn't. I, I think um, Cowboy's a buddy of mine, but I think he's notoriously just a slow starter. It, it's just so it, that made really, so when that happened, that made sense. I mean, sense. he really is. It's not the first time this has happened to him. The same thing happened. He had a, a lightweight title shot against uh, Rafael dos Anjos, and the same thing happened. Oh, man. It's just like, Cowboy's that guy, like, he needs to get punched in the face to get going. <laughs> you know We're what I mean? That. I mean, I know. He needs to have, yeah. kind of needs to yeah. have <laughs> round one, like, in the locker room before sure. he comes out, and it's just it's just one of those things. It's All right. just Back to Jensen's question. Right. Who, sh- who, who should he who fight should and who he will he fight? Um, he can really call his own shot. He's, well, who I do mean, you want to see him with? I, I want to see him fight Justin Gaethje. Right. You know, uh, obviously Connor thinks in terms of he wants to fight the big fight. He's not going to cut weight. He's not going to cut to he 155 wants to stay there, right? until he gets a title shot. I guarantee you that, mm-hmm. you know, because cutting weight is miserable and he obviously doesn't need to. Um, but there's a lot of big guys at welterweight. You know, Kamaru Usman, the welterweight champ. That's what it seems like everyone wants him to go to. He, I mean, that's a big dude yeah. that's a guy who cuts a lot of weight to get to 170 and connor's probably walking around at like you know 168 169 i was gonna not say it seems like kind of weight. he's sm- he's smaller than most of that weight class but i like that in yeah. mma because i think people punish themselves i mean i walk around i'm like 205 pounds and like i i cut to 170 and like i look <sighs> at pictures of myself and i'm like Bleh. you did look unhealthy what? as a friend yeah. wow i was <laughs> just like oh boy <laughs> he looks how do you not low. lose 50 percent of your energy when you do that well yeah i, I lost about 75 percent. wow <laughs> uh also his movie which was honestly very good i, loved it too. I was ready to lie to him as a friend i was right? gonna be like this oh, really terrible. good man i was i was gonna you're lie terrible. i was gonna lie to you he's terribly. saying he wanted to lie to I you would, no because I he likes you i know i know but it was really good girl on the third floor is coming to netflix february 22nd yes. you still this experience was still very high for you very good it's still rolling too yeah. you know i mean we just had it released uh on dvd and blu-ray uh so like Obviously, there's all these, you know, milestones and events that happen when a movie comes out. You know, it did good in select theaters. You mm-hmm. know, it did the the festival route, and it did very well there. It um, came it's out on DVD great and genre all that movie. stuff. Yeah. Great genre It's in Redbox movie. right now, and I think you can rent Redbox stuff for like a, like two bucks. Yeah. That's it's crazy. very good. You guys should see it. You're going to do s- more of that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my February is uh, is is pretty busy. I got a CFFC. I'll be back on Fox February 11th, uh, and in between all those things, uh, I'm I'm shooting another movie. This is, goes back to me not wanting to talk about stuff until yeah. it happens. This mm. is happening. How's that going? So, oh, sorry about this that. Is, no, no. <laughs> it's this, happening. This, this one's happening. Okay. There's, well, he's so. the new Bond. Is it, so. <laughs> is it another horror movie? Um, I feel like you'd know. Well, he's trying to think what the yeah. definition of it. Yeah, yeah, Does I mean, anything seep out from the walls? <laughs> That's a great question. There's, they're going to need they're going to need an effects guy. Okay, yeah. right. okay. okay. Right. excellent. Yeah. Excellent. No. Good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that comes out on uh, February 22nd on Netflix. And there's yep. the Fox Sports Show. Yeah. CM Punk. Good man. time. Do you still train? All the time. Will Same. you ever stop training? <laughs> no. Really? Yeah. Because you love that part of it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, because you yeah. still like you really do train MMA still. Yeah. Yeah, see, I would give up in a second. <laughs> if I didn't have a fight or anything, I'd be like, pass the nachos. Same. Yeah. But, oh, we're, not fi- I, I but train, we're not fighters. I train, I train and then eat nachos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, but then do. you can get away I with it because you burn best all the calories. Bo- best of both worlds. Yeah. I have both. to train to, to keep up with my eating habit. <laughs> that is pretty good. So I guess you're not going to be in the Royal Rumble. I guess I lost all that money in Vegas. They didn't seven ask. To one odds. You know, Fox, Fox is great because Fox asked. And that's I went, true. Yeah, that's a good but idea. here's what I'll okay. say. There's still a few days before. Yeah. But you're saying. I'm just saying there were a lot of people online who were like, oh, WWE hasn't mentioned him. Mm-mm. Well, Hold maybe on. that means. He just said they haven't asked. So yeah. you're leaving the door open that's... that He's if they always do open to ask. I, I've, I, if I've they always, do ask. I said this last time. I know, but I need it in, in say it again. He's saying, whoever, I'll help him because okay. he doesn't want to say no, it. No, I want him all right, to say it. All right, go ahead. He's already starting to drink like he doesn't want to say it. <laughs> He's already turning pinkish. I know. So you're saying if WWE asked, you'd be open to the conversation about coming back. What's the deal? Right. What's the deal? I'm going to give you top dollar because I'm not what's an top, idiot. What's you're Vince top again. Dollar? <laughs> you're I'm Vince. I am Vince. Dollar? Let's do it again. Top dollar for, for Royal Rumble? Millions. Millions. How, how many millions? I'm going to give you $5.5 million to come back for that. Just for the Royal Rumble? It's a one-off. I'm sold. Okay. All right. We'll see you then. Do you run it, Allie? Or... Yeah, I do. I do. A lot of people don't know that. Watch okay. me walk in. 
I don't got to win, do I? No. There's no a, that's okay, the good. Because no. there's, there's a winning bonus. Yeah. I, well, we do need you to poop again in the ring. There's a winning bonus. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite CM Punk moment is when he pooped in the ring. It's, one of, it's one of mine. It's pretty yeah, great. How can it only be one of yours? <laughs> there were other great moments, but pooping Crazy. in the ring, number one. That's pretty good. Uh, well, we'll see you at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see you guys there. CM Punk is the best, everyone. Th thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you. K Rock, LA and OC's alternative rock.